Year One edition. In Year One, the children can record addition by showing jumps on a prepared number line. So a prepared number line is a number line that's got the numbers there ready for the children to use. As they progress with their number skills, the numbers will not necessarily need to be prepared. They could be blank number lines or number, number lines with less numbers on them. In this example, the challenge given is six add five. On the number line, the children would recognize that six is the larger number. They then need to add on five. They would use the number line to add on five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Taking them to 11, which is their answer. So six add five is 11. This can be done for several different examples, but all of these examples are relatively simple and onto number lines that are prepared. Moving on to a harder example, we've got the example 8 add 10. This example is about adding a 10 to a number. We've got 8 on the number line. To add on 10, rather than adding on 10 small jumps, the children would be taught to add on one large jump of 10. And they would have used number squares to recognize that 8 add 10 is 18. This would be repeated several times with numbers like 7 add 10 is 17, 6 add 10 is 16, and so on, so that children are familiar with how to do this. Another example is where the children need to bridge through 10. Bridging through 10 means that adding their number would take the children past a number that ends in zero. So the larger number goes at the beginning of the number line, so we're starting at eight and we want to add on five. Instead of doing five small jumps, the children are encouraged to do easier jumps and to break it down to make the number sentence more straightforward. To do this, they would jump to a number that ends in zero. The number that ends in zero immediately after eight is 10. The children would recognize that eight, to get to 10 from eight, they would add on two. They might be encouraged to use fingers to count up for this. If they're struggling, they could actually count up in ones. They want to add on five. So far, they've added on two of that five. They would recognize then that they would have three left to add on. Two and three making the five that they need to add on. 10 add three is nice and easy. 10 add three takes us to 13. So our answer is 13. This makes the number sentence harder still. Rather than eight add five, in this example, we've got 18 add five. And we take exactly the same approach. We put 18 at the start of the number sentence. We put the larger number at the start and add on the smaller number to try and make sure that we make less errors. And to add on five, we're looking for those easy jumps and an easy jump to a multiple of 10, a number that ends in zero. The next number that ends in zero after 18 is 20. 20 ends in a zero, so is a multiple of 10. We want to add on five. To get from 18 to 20, we add on two. So we've added on two of the five that we want to add. That means that we've got three left to add, and 20 add three is 23. So our answer is 23. And again, the children would be encouraged to do several examples so that they were clear on how to do this. Also in year one, the children would be encouraged to look at number sentences that contain symbols such as triangles or squares to represent a missing number. In the top example, we have five add two equals, and in place of a number, we have a triangle. The children would be encouraged to recognize the triangle needs to be the missing number which in this case in this number sentence is the answer itself. 5 add 2 is 7 and the children would be encouraged to place their answer inside the symbol. 
The second example is slightly harder. The triangle this time does not replace the answer but replaces a number in the middle of the number sentence. So five adds something, in this case it's, in, it's a triangle, makes seven. And the children would be encouraged to start at five and to count up to seven to work out what the difference is. So in this case it would be two. In addition to what we've looked at already in year one, the children also need to be re able to record mental addition in number sentences using the plus sign and the equal sign. And they would also be attempting to solve simple problems explaining their methods and reasoning. So rather than just simply a number sentence, they might be asked to solve a word problem such as Jack has five marbles, Asif has two, how many do they have all together? And their number sentence would be five add two and their answer would be seven.